Good morning. Welcome to Radio, Welcome to Radio Rome, Rome in Los Angeles, California. Angeles, California. It's been here in our Super Bowl week. week. This, this morning, morning, we are honored to sit down with KJ Osborne, wide receiver for the Minnesota Vikings. I know everybody who's my friend is saying, what Vikings go back? But KJ is a great guy, and he's doing a lot of, lot of good work to help the youth. So he is, he is worthy. worthy. KJ, you're worthy. Thank you for the work you're doing. Thank you for the work you're doing. Tell us a little bit, KJ, about what you're helping. I'm doing a bunch. This is my, my second year. This is my, uh, first of all, I appreciate, appreciate you guys having me on. Uh, this is my second year in the league. So um, last year was a COVID year, so I didn't get a, a chance to do as much as I wanted to. So, you know, I'm taking this opportunity uh, to be able to give back to the community. Um, I'll be running my first camp uh, back at the high school I went to, Ypsilanti, uh, Ypsilanti Lincoln High School. Um, I did that June 11th. Um, my rookie year, I gave a, a, a hand sanitizer giveaway to, to the kids and you know, the seniors, um, you know, after school, for the after school programs and things like that. Um, you know, just, just getting myself out into the community. And I've been the first guy drafted there in a, in a long time, if, if ever. Um, so, you know, just to show my face, you know, uh, talking to them, interacting with them, with the kids. Um, I do a couple of things in Minnesota, you know, going on uh, the after school programs and, you know, you know, tech things and things like that. So um, going back to Michigan actually next week to speak to a high school, uh, some NFL guys, excuse me, some high school guys um, in, in the school. <clears throat> so it's a, it's a bunch of things that I'm doing and uh, I'm looking I'm looking forward to, you know, just giving back to the community more you know, uh, talking to people and, you know, shaking some hands, talking to people. So, KJ, I got to ask you, and I, I mentioned this to you off the air, so this isn't a surprise to you, but I'm at the Pro Bowl last week, and I'm talking to a Pro Bowler, and I say, you know, if I gave you $25,000 and said, use this for good, how would you spend it? And this Pro Bowler looks at me, and he's like, uh, I don't know, I never thought about that right now. I'm playing football. I'll think about that when I retire. KJ, you started doing this in your first year. As a rookie, so I just, so just, just got to ask you. You know, somebody put this in your heart when you were a young player to get involved and give back. Tell me about that story, please. Oh, well, you know, somebody did it to me. So you know, there's a saying, you know, teach one, teach one. You this know, in your heart. Somebody put me under their wing, and, uh, and you know, and brought me up. You know, when I need to learn the details about, you know, how to be a professional athlete, how to be in high school and college, um, and they pass it out to me. So. It's my job, you know, and, and our job, you know, as, as I get older, to pass it down to the next generation, you know, to, to be there for, you know, for something that I didn't have, rather that be, you know, a mentor or a role model, or, you know, someone, you know, they can they can reach out to. It's a bunch of mental health stuff going around, um, you know, so I can give kind of a safe space. You know, I'm, I was them. That's what I tell people all the time. Like, I am you. I'm just a, a, a normal guy just like you are. Um, I work my butt off to get to the NFL, but, you know, we, we have a lot of things alike than what you think. Um, so... That's what I try to do. So um, I feel like it's my job to, you know, be a blessing and pass and pass my, my things down that have been taught to me to the next generation. So you talked about somebody else did that for you when, when you were growing up. Give us a little bit of sense of uh, who that was and what stage of your life made the greatest impact. We hear people uh, impacted by coaches, by former players. Tell us a little bit about it. What created this desire for you? Hey, right. So, Kayla, you don't, you don't like this. Uh, uh, my first you know, kind of mentor was uh, Mon Green. Mon Green. Uh, uh, all time. Uh, all time. You know, he was a big That's my guy. Uh, and, um, I would go up to his house, house in the summertime. Me and my buddy EJ, you know, I went up there two, three summers. We stayed with him for a week, two weeks, three weeks. And we were trained with him. You know, this is while he was still playing. You know, we'd go to Packer games and, you know, we'd be on the field. You know, we wake up and train with him in the, in the weight room. We go to his D1 facility. Um, so he kind of he kind of showed me. My uh, God, man, how you doing, bro? You, <laughs> you want to sit him down? You can. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we we uh, he he kind of took me under his wing and you know really showed me you know um, you know the the way to go um, you know how to be an NFL player. That was that was young you know just how to how to be a pro. Um, so you know that was that was the first you know kind of mentor I had to you know kind of kind of show me the way and, uh, and, and be an example. I love it. I love it. And shout, love out, it. To and shout out to Ahmad because that is a man of character. And, and when we see guys who get it, it makes all the difference, all the difference in the world. In the world. KJ, I want, KJ, to, I want to say to you, I'm so, I'm so impressed by your character, character by, by your willingness and your commitment to give back. back. I'm, just I'm just so, so proud, proud of you. I, I, I really am. So I want to say thank you. I have a question for you. I know being up in Minnesota these last few years, there's been quite a number of incidents you know, in terms of social justice and, and some shootings and, and things like that. How has that impacted the, the Viking team, you know, you specifically and, and your teammates? 
uh, you know, it, it brings us closer as it does, you know, everybody, you know, the whole city and as, you know, the George Floyd thing happened, you know, the whole country. You know, we want to, we want to, you know, stand up, you know, um, you know, how can these things stop? You know, how, what, what can we do in our community? Uh, like I said, each one teach one to, you know, put these kids in the, in the right programs and, um, you know, so they're, they're coming up and, you know, uh, connecting the, the community with the police officers. You know, it's a, it's a whole, it's a group project. Um, so, you know, we, we just try our best to, you know, continue to, to be a supporting hand to these kids and try to come together and, you know, stand with them, you know, and stand stand with the community, you know, stand with, you know, like with, with the, the people that's uh, against police brutality and, you know, all these different things that's going on uh, today. But um, you know, this is disappointing for sure. Um, you know, things continue to happen. But, um, you know, we, we try to, you know, come together, you know, as a team, you know, let them know that you know, we're in this together. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, it's happening in Minnesota. Um, but, you know, that's, that's our home. So, you know, we, you know, we want to clean it up, you know, wrap it up, you know, track the city, track the city, get rid of it together. All right, KJ, when you say being in and together, Sports Philanthropy Network is proud to say that we are expecting Jimmy Gardner to join us tomorrow. Miami, Fort Lauderdale guy who was exonerated for a wrongful conviction. I'd be honored to uh, introduce you and, and get a picture of the two of you guys together and the work you're doing. Again, thank you very much. Roy, why don't you take us out? Sure. Uh, KJ, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate the, the work you're doing and that passion. I, I know you grew up in Michigan. Uh, uh, my son's at Michigan State, so not, not too far away from there. But um, just seeing the work that you've done, I know the mentality of the Vikings, as Kayla said, we're up visiting with uh, Brett Tabor and the Vikings Foundation and seeing that whole facility, really an impressive venue. And the Will family sets a leadership tone with their spirit of philanthropy. So congratulations on what you're doing. Please let us know how we can support those efforts, get more people involved. Um, why don't you uh, tell us the best way for people to reach you so Kayla can drop that into the video and we'll make sure that we get support for what you're working on. Right. The best way to reach me is probably on Instagram. It's uh, KJ underscore Osborne, O-S-E-B-R-R-N underscore. KJ underscore Osborne underscore. Well, thank you. Uh, Kayla? Hi, my, my name, name is Kayla Brother, and I'm doing my co-host broadcast here today, today with KJ Osborne, wide receiver for the Minnesota Vikings, who from, from right, the very beginning gets the importance of giving back. KJ, thank you so much. On behalf of Brian and myself, we um, invite you to remember to live generously. Thanks, KJ. Thank you.